Let us start with a prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. God of grace, we open our hearts, minds, and souls to worship you. Thank you that today we dwell in your kingdom and live in your presence. Thank you that as we gather together, we join with all Christians across the world to glorify your holy name. Come, be with us, inspire us, and lead us in our time together. We ask all this in the beautiful name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please fill out the Google form for your attendance. Alright, to start with, let's watch our class rules. Welcome to your classroom. Usually, when we start school, we're able to meet our friends and our teacher in a classroom in the school building. This year will be a little bit different. We'll see our friends and our teacher on the computer, or as we like to say, virtually. Let's talk about our virtual class rules. We have four rules. Number one. Be ready, two, go to your study area, three, microphone muted, camera on, four, be respectful. Number one, be ready. This means being on time, being dressed, and having a smile on your face ready to learn. Number two, go to your study area. We want you to have a nice quiet place where you can work with no distractions, no toys, no TV, no food. Rule number three. Microphone muted, camera on, so you're, you can see your teachers and your friends. Rule number four, be respectful. This means raising your hand when you want to speak, listening to your teacher and classmates, and really thinking about your learning. With these four rules, we'll be ready to learn, ready to have fun, and able to learn just as much as we would if we were in a classroom with our teacher and classmates. Hi learners! It's a brand new day and a brand new chance to learn. This is Teacher Carmi and I am so excited to bring you our today's lesson. So set your mind, bed your heart, and embrace yourselves as we develop your life skills and electrical installation and maintenance. Are you ready? Great! Let's start. Go grab your pen, paper, and self-learning module. Can you identify these electrical materials and supplies? Okay, you just have to name the electrical materials and supplies. Okay, let's start with number one. What is it? Correct, the answer is wires or conductors. How about number two? What is it? Correct, the answer is switches. Number three, what is it? Correct, that is the push button. Number four, what is it? Correct, that is a male plug. How about number five? What are those? Very good. Those are fuses. How about number six? What is it? Mm, correct. That is a circuit breaker. Mm, how about number seven? What is it? Correct. That is a bulb or incandescent lamp. How about number eight? What are those? Very good. Those are batteries. Congratulations! You are now ready for your next test. Are you ready for a game? Very good! So now, we will have this Guess Me game. Are you ready? Okay, you just have to tell me what comes out into your mind when you see these pictures. Let's have number one. Correct, it is our flag. Our flag symbolizes independence. How about the second picture? Alright, that is a female symbol.
correct. How about the third picture? Alright, that is a symbol for male. How about the fourth picture? Very good. That is a Miralco logo. So, did you get it all correctly? Very good. So, now let's move on to our next activity. Okay, class. So, based in our um, review and motivation, what is our topic for today? Okay, our review is all about electrical materials and supplies. And our motivation or our game is all about symbols. So, what is our topic for today? Alright, very good. Our topic for today is all about electrical symbols. Very good. So, let's start with electrical symbols meaning. Electrical symbols is a small drawing or pictograms that is being used to represent various electrical devices in a circuit. Okay, now let's arrange these jumbled letters to form a word that is connected to our lesson for today. Are you ready? Okay, let's try. What is the first word? Alright, the answer is wiring plan. Very good. How about number two? Correct, the answer is electrical circuit. Very good. How about number three? Yes, the answer is electrical symbols. Nice. How about number four? Alright, the answer is pictogram. Very good. How about number five? Yes, correct. The answer is the schematic diagram. Did you get all the correct answers? Alright, let us discuss it one by one. Let's start with wiring plan. Wiring plan is a line drawing showing how the electrical connections of a device are made. Next is the electrical circuit. It is a complete path that an electric current can flow around. Next is the electrical symbols. Electrical symbols are small drawings or pictograms used to represent various electrical devices in a circuit. Pictograms is a graphic symbol that conveys its meaning through its pictorial resemblance to a physical object. Alright, this is an example of pictogram. It's a pictorial resemblance of a physical object. Next is the schematic diagram. It is a sketch showing the connections of the circuit using standard electrical symbols. Alright, did you get it? Those are the meaning of all the words that I've shown to you a while ago. Now let's talk about the most essential learning competencies of this lesson. So we have to analyze signs, electrical signs, symbols, and data. So our topic for today is all about common electrical symbols. So at the end of the lesson, the students should be able to Number 1. Identify the common electrical symbols in the circuit. Number 2. Illustrate the common electrical symbols. And number 3. Appreciate the importance of knowing the electrical symbols. Let's have this draw-it-yourself activity. Are you ready? Reminder, you only have 3 minutes to finish the activity. Alright, let's start. Direction. Draw a symbol to each electrical materials and supplies. Number 1 is wire, number 2 switch, 3 fuse, 4 circuit breaker, 5 battery, 6 push button, 7 cell, 8 meal plug, 9 antenna, and 10 bulb. <laughs>
Alright, time's up. We will check your answers later. So let's start our discussion. Okay class, so let's discuss the electrical or common electrical symbols used in electrical wiring. Are you ready? Okay, so you just need to draw it in your notebook and write the description of each symbols. Here are the common electrical symbols. First is the conductor or wire. Next is the wires not connected. Terminal. Watt meter. Voltmeter. Switch. Push button, mail plug, galvanometer, fuse, connected wires, circuit breaker, cell. Bulb Bell Battery Ameter Those symbols are being used in a schematic diagram. Just like this picture. Okay class, for one minute, please check your answer in the DIY activity. Did you get all the correct answers? Very good! Now that you already know all the electrical symbols, let us have a drill. Your task is to identify all the electrical symbols being used in a schematic diagram. Are you ready? Okay, let's start. Let's start number one. Number two. Number three. And number four. All right, these are the answers. Please check your paper. Did you get all the correct answers? All right, very good. Congratulations. Okay, let's review the electrical symbols. Let's start with number one. What is it? Correct, it's the conductor. Number two. Correct, that is a terminal. Number three. Correct, that is a switch. Number four. Correct, that is a fuse. Number five. It, correct, it's an ammeter. Number six, voltmeter, correct. Number seven, galvanometer, correct. Number eight, connected wires, correct. Number nine, circuit breaker, correct. Number ten, cell, correct. Number eleven, wattmeter, correct. Number twelve, not connected wires, correct. Number 13, push button, correct. Number 14, bell, correct. Number 15, mail flag, correct. Number 16, bulb, correct. Let's add some more. Next is the antenna. Next is the resistor. Next is the battery. Did you get all the correct answers? Excellent! Great job! <laughs> uh, 
Electrical symbols are used in sketching schematic diagrams and electrical plans for numerous types of electrical works. At the same time, these symbols are very useful guides for an electrician or electrical contractor and make the wiring easier to install as well. Let us have this scenario. What if your mother asked you to install a bulb and a switch in your living room? What will you do first? Okay, you have to plan first. So, in electrical wiring, you have to do an electrical wiring plan. Hmm, why do you need to plan first? Correct, to avoid accident or injuries while doing the electrical installation. Always remember that safety must be your first priority. Okay class, so now let us watch this video. Hi, in this video we are looking at an electrical circuit. We are going to look at the basic components starting with an appliance. An appliance could be any other electrical device, but in this case we are using a light bulb which is labeled in black. The symbol of a light bulb is that in green on the right hand, then an electrical circuit also needs a power source and in this case we are using a battery but we have many other power sources not only batteries and the symbol of a battery is that one on the right an electrical circuit can also have a switch but not always a must so the switch is that one in the picture the symbol is that on the right an electrical circuit also needs wiring or it needs electrical wires and wires are represented as lines as you can see there they're black and red wires i'm using black to show the negative side and red to show the positive side as you realize from our previous lesson about electrical force the positive will always be depicted as red in my videos and black will be depicted as negative. When an electrical circuit is switched on, you see that our switch is changing as we switch on and off. So that is an off switch on our right hand side and that is the on switch. So you see that the animation is changing on, off, on, off. Okay, so let's move on. When we switch on, we have electrons will be attracted from the negative side to the positive side of a battery. And when they go through the appliance, as you can see, the appliance will give us light. Continuing to our electrical circuit symbols in detail. So we have the circuit there, that is a circuit picture and we have the circuit diagram showing symbols and the symbols are the ones in green as you can see each one matches the position of its picture on the left so starting with the, our batteries the symbol of a battery is that that is for one battery or we could have many batteries and in that case those are three batteries uh, a battery is the energy source of an electrical circuit. So let's move on to the next one. In our circuit we had a light bulb as an example of an appliance and there the symbol of a bulb is that one as you can see in red or it could be that. So depending on where you find it just know that these two symbols stand for a light bulb in a circuit diagram. So a light bulb or a bulb changes electrical energy to light energy in an electrical circuit. So let's move on to the next. We have electrical wire. Electrical wire, the symbol is just a line and in our previous circuit diagram, I depicted the electrical wires in colors of black and red, black being negative and red being positive. 
So the electrical wire connects all the components of an electrical circuit. So we saw the other components like the switch, the light bulb, and the power source, which was a battery. We connect all of them using the electrical wire. Let's continue to the next one. So sometimes, or not always, uh, you're going to see, you're going to have a switch in your circuit. The symbol of a switch is that one. It's like a broken line depicting a switch in, a, in an off state or depicting a switch that is off. And then, or it could be a closed switch, which is a connected line, which is not broken like the one on the left. So that is a switch which is in the on state. So the switch controls a circuit. Closing the switch gives a closed circuit and opening the switch gives an open circuit. A closed circuit is a circuit which is operating, which is on. An open circuit is a circuit which is off. It is switched off. Okay class, based on the video, what are the basic electrical symbols mentioned? Correct. Very good. Those are bulb, wires, switch, and battery. Okay, class. So now I have a question. How can you create a symbol out of a word or a picture? Yes, correct. You can actually make a symbol by visualization of the actual object, just like the wire. Yes, where am I now? What can you see? Alright, I am in an electric room. Yes. What can you see in an electrical room? Right, there are wirings. Anyway class, we have two types of diagram. We have the pictorial diagram and the schematic diagram. But for today, we will use the schematic diagram for our electrical symbols. Because pictorial diagram uses actual Yes, actual object for the connections. While in the schematic diagram, you have to use only the electrical symbols. Now draw the electrical symbols for the following electrical materials and supplies. Number one, wire. Number two, switch. Number 3, push button. Number 4, mail plug. Number 5, fuse. Number 6, circuit breaker. Number 7, bulb or incandescent lamp. Number 8, batteries. Okay, please check your answers. Be honest. Number one, wires. This is the correct symbol. Number two, switch. That is the symbol. Next is the push button. That is the symbol. Next is the mail plug. That is the symbol for mail plug. Next is the fuse. That is the symbol for fuse. Next is the circuit breaker. That is the symbol for the circuit breaker. Next is the bulb. That is the symbol for bulb. Next is the battery. That is the symbol for battery. Did you get all the correct answer? Congratulations! You are awesome! Okay class, so what have you learned today? Did you enjoy the activities? For your assignment, research for the following electrical terms. Number 1, electrical signs. 2, warning icons. 3, hazard. 4, injury. And 5, precautionary. The link will be posted in our Google Classroom Drive. Please follow the file name format of your outputs.
Okay class, in your reflection journal, you have to answer these questions. Number one, why is it important for us to know the electrical symbols? Number two, why do you need to know it? Number three, how can you memorize the electrical symbols? Number four, what is your takeaway in this lesson? And number five, what do you feel during the discussion? Okay class, you can submit your reflection journal and your assignment in our Google Drive. Alright, in our Google Classroom. So, do you have any question with our lesson for today? Alright, if you have questions in our lesson for today, you can actually ask me through my email account and through my FB Messenger. And I am so willing to help you. Okay class, this is Teacher Carmi saying, the distance between your dreams and reality is called action. So keep dreaming. Bye!